Hare The hare is an animal that has been featured prominently in the mythology and folklore of human societies around the world. The legend of the white hare, in which the spirit of the woman takes the form of a hare and haunts the earth at night, is a central pillar of some British folklore. These animals are also a common motif in literature and art, including Alice's adventures in Wonderland. In some traditions, it is depicted as a trickster. Hare scientific name. The hare is not a single species, but rather an entire genus known as Lepus, which is the Latin name for the hare. As you might already know, genus is the level of scientific classification directly above species. There are approximately 30 species within the genus Lepus. There is quite a bit of popular confusion between the terms hare, jackrabbit, and rabbit. Hare and jackrabbit are interchangeable terms that describe the same thing, but the term rabbit applies to a different genus of animals entirely. More confusingly, five species of rabbits are actually called hares, including the endangered hispid hare of Nepal and the red rock hares of Africa. Hare Appearance and Behavior These animals have a rather distinctive appearance characterized by their extremely long ears, long hind legs, short snout, big eyes, and stout body. They are typically adorned with white, black, gray, tan, or reddish-orange colors to blend in with the surroundings. Some species turn white during the winter months or remain white all year long as a form of camouflage in the snow. In order to change color, these hares molt in the spring. Hares are the physically largest animals in the order of logomorphs. They are even larger than the closely related rabbits in the picus. Measuring about 16 to 28 inches from head to tail, they are a little larger than the typical house cat. The body is complemented with 6 inch feet and 8 inch ears. The heaviest species is the arctic hare at around 11 pounds. The male is known as a jack, while the female is called a jill. Both are fairly similar in size and appearance, though females do tend to be a little larger, which is uncommon for a mammal. Hare habitat. These animals occur naturally throughout Europe, Asia, Africa, and North America. Because of the large number of habitats to which this genus has adapted, each species inhabits a different geographical range. The snowshoe hare is a well-known species that occurs from Alaska to the mountainous regions of California and Nevada. The African hare, as the name implies, inhabits much of Africa. The Arctic hare is one of the few species adapted for the frigid extremes of northern Canada and Greenland. The European hare, which inhabits Europe, the Middle East, and as far east as Siberia, is perhaps the most common species of hares in the world. In recent centuries, it has been introduced into Australia, New Zealand, South America, and parts of North America as hunting game. But after spreading out of control, the species is now considered a pest in many parts of the world, as it consumes crops and outcompetes local species. Hare predators and threats. Hares are the natural prey of many large cats, birds, and reptiles around the world. The snowshoe hare is the most common prey animal of the powerful lynx. This species goes through an unusual boom-slash-bust cycle in which numbers crash from overhunting and then slowly begin to recover. This cycle takes place over a regular 8 to 11 year time span. Meanwhile, both the brown hare and the European hare are the prey of the fox. Other common predators include bobcats, hawks, eagles, snowy owls, wolves, coyotes, bears, and even weasels. Hare reproduction, babies, and lifespan. The hare's breeding season is quite competitive and feisty. Males will fight each other for access to females, while the female will force the male to chase her as a test of his stamina and determination. This also serves the purpose of helping the animal to stay fit. If the female is not ready to mate at all, then she may box the male right across the face with a stern punch. The hare's breeding season varies quite a bit by species. Some species can breed at any time throughout the year, while others only breed during the spring and summer months. Both hares and rabbits have a reputation for a prolific rate of reproduction. The female can typically produce 1 to 8 children in a single litter, rarely up to 15, with up to 3 litters per year. The amount of young usually depends on the abundance of food. The mother will typically carry the children for around 40 days. Hidden in large grasses or depressions, the young hares, also known as leverets, are born with their eyes open and their fur completely grown. They are able to begin hopping within minutes of emerging from the womb. This is because they won't have the protection of a larger group. The mother herself only visits the children once every day for very short periods, usually to nurse them. Weaning usually begins around 10 days of life and lasts up to 23 days. 
Although they are functionally independent soon after birth, sexual maturity takes about one to two years in most species of hares. The typical lifespan is between four and eight years in the wild. If a hare avoids disease and predation, then the maximum possible lifespan is around 12 years. Hare Population The majority of hare species appear to be in relatively good health. According to the Yukon Red List, which tracks the conservation status of many animals, most hare species are currently classified as least concern. A few species, like the Corsican hare, the white-sided jackrabbit, and the black jackrabbit, are vulnerable. The Hainan hare of Hainan, China, and the Tehuantepec jackrabbit of Mexico are both in danger to extinction. Exact population figures are not available, but some species appear to be declining from agriculture and other habitat loss.